galera do canal Diego e Gabriel Gamers, Diego Gamer na área, fazer um vídeo bem rápido e bem objetivo para vocês. O negócio é o seguinte, galera, vamos mostrar uma coisa que meu coração não aguenta, não aguenta mesmo, porque, meu Deus do céu, olha o que teve de The Last of Us na, na Summer Game Fest. Quem não sabe, Summer Game Fest é uma coisa que tá tendo aí, que é dos anúncios dos games, e teve na Summer Game Fest um anúncio de uma coisa, um, teve umas coisas top de The Last, e nossa senhora, meu coração bombou, bateu a mil por horas, porque é meu game favorito, e meu Deus do céu, galera, meu Deus do céu mesmo, que, que notícia, meus amigos. Mostrou um pedacinho da série de The Last, vocês vão ver aí, que eu vou mostrar de, pra vocês aí, Mostrou um pouco dizendo que vai ter um modo online de The Last. Top demais, um modo online pro The Last 2. Meu Deus do céu, que, que top. E também foi mostrado e falado que vai ter também um remake de The Last Parte 1. Meu Deus do céu, remake que tava sendo vazado que poderia ter... Foi confirmado e vai ter, com certeza, esse remake top demais, né, galera? Então, vai ser lançado pra... pra que plataforma vai ser lançado o Gamer? Vai ter pra PS4? Não, não vai ter pra PS4. Vocês de PS4, não vai ter. Vai ter pra PS5 e foi mostrado também que vai sair para PC, galera. Então, ou seja... O, essa maravilha do The Last Part 1 vai ser lançado para PS5 e PC, meu Deus do céu E vai ser lançado, que dia que vai ser lançado o Diego Gamer? Vai ser lançado no dia 2 de setembro de 2022 Então, ou seja, vai ser este ano mesmo que essa maravilha vai chegar para nós gamers E o cara que é o, o cara que criou o jogo, o cara... O, um monstro desse jogo. Ele anunciou que vai ser... Como que ele anunciou? Ele anunciou falando que vai ser a edição definitiva de The Last 1. Vai ser este que eles vão lançar. E vocês, galera? O vocês, que vocês acham? Foi uma, uma coisa boa ter feito o remake? Ou o que tinha no PS4, que era o remaster, já estava tudo bem? O que vocês acham? Eu acho assim, galera. Se vocês é, tem já o do PS4 o remake, o, o The Last Remake, eu acho que não compensa muito gastar um dinheiro para comprar o The Last Remake. Se você não tiver muito dinheiro, entendeu? Então é melhor você ficar com o remaster do PS4. Porque eu acho que o remaster também roda no PS5 também, se não me engano. Então, não tem por que vocês comprar. Só se vocês for um fã assíduo de The Last, vocês querem ter mesmo o um jogo para coleção, então aí vale a pena. Entendeu, galera? Ou se vocês não tem também, também vale a pena. E vocês aí, comentam aí. Vocês estão aguardando esse The Last, o parte 1 ou não? Comentem aí. E agora vamos ficar com o que passou de The Last na é, Summer Games Fest. Bora lá ver o que passou de The Last. That was Gotham Knights, and now we welcome. Oh, look who it is! Neil Druckmann from Naughty Dog, uh, co-president of Naughty Dog. Uh, great to have you with us, Neil. It's been a uh, an eventful day on the internet for Naughty Dog fans, we, and uh, I think we jinxed ourselves. We were joking about last night, like watch the ass assets will leak, and yes. lo and behold. That's what happened. Well, the good news is there's some stuff that hasn't leaked that we have lots to share with people about uh, all things at Naughty Dog. But first of all, it is a, you know, it's a big month actually for Last of Us fans because uh, Last of Us 1 and 2 both launched in June and it's nearing its two-year anniversary for Last of Us uh, Part 2, which is, is hard, to, hard to believe. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, um, you know, nine years for Last of Us 1, two years for Last of Us Part 2, and we still hear from fans. They're still sending us letters and art, and these characters and this journey and this world mean so much to them. Um, and it's, it's just been kind of amazing. Like Last of Us Part 2, early this year, passed a pretty big milestone. It sold over 10 million units. 
And that kind of support, that kind of success, um, we're so grateful to our fans. It has allowed us to grow as a studio, and now we can take on multiple projects, more than we've ever had at the same time. Multiple projects, okay, very interesting. So uh, what can Last of, Us, Last of Us fans expect in the future from you? Thank you for asking, Jeff. Yes. Uh, so one of the things we've mentioned a while back is what started out as a multiplayer mode has evolved due to the team's ambition. They really wanted to do something beyond what we've ever done before at Naughty Dog. And we felt the way to do it justice is to make it a standalone title. And over the, they've been working on it for the past two years. Ambition has grown. And we're not quite ready to fully unveil it, but we're ready to lift the curtain a little bit and just give you like an update of where we're at. OK, well, uh, what can you tell us about this new standalone multiplayer game? Yeah, so uh, we have a concept art that we want to show. Yeah. Um, uh, but what, what I can tell you there Whoa. is that this game is big. Okay. Um, it's as big as any of our single player games that we've done and in some ways bigger. It's got a story. Um, the way we're telling that story is very unique to this game. Um, it's got a brand new cast of characters. It takes place at another place, uh, another part of the United States. It's like a city might be somewhat familiar, some people. I'm sure our fans have already figured it out. Um, uh, and it's, it's, it's really cool. And it's being headed by Vinith Uggerwal. Um, Anthony Newman and uh, Joe Padnatti, all veterans of Uncharted and Last of Us. And you're going to see a lot more of this game come next year. Next year. So we wait till next year to hear more next about that year. one. Okay. Well, very exciting that uh, this has evolved. And I mean, that concept art looks incredible. I can't wait to see Naughty Dog storytelling fused with multiplayer live game. Uh, it's, it's something special. I, we can't wait to show it either. Okay, well, um, that's not all. We also have something that I've been reading about on the internet every day, it feels like, up in <laughs> Calgary. They're filming the Last of Us show for HBO, right? Yeah, so uh, for the past year, um, you know, we've teamed up with Craig Mazin of Chernobyl fame and HBO to adapt The Last of Us into a TV, uh, TV show. Um, they've been filming, and uh, it's pretty incredible. The stuff I'm getting back, when we're looking at back at Naughty Dog, we can't help but feel emotional because not only is it so good and the quality is so high, it's so authentic to what we've made in the game. Um, and uh, I, I just can't, I couldn't be proud of, like, again, Craig and that whole crew and everybody that's up there. Uh, and they're actually, their last day of filming is tomorrow. So the entire series, last day of filming is last tomorrow. Last day of filming is tomorrow. Craig is up there right now, wow. kind of wrapping it all up. Uh, so it's, it's pretty close. It's closer than you might think. And you actually got to direct one of the episodes? Yes, uh, I think that really speaks to the kind of collaboration and trust that exists between Naughty Dog and HBO. They invited me to direct one of the episodes. Um, I think we have an image from the episode I actually directed. Ooh, okay. Um, so we could first look. Let's take... <laughs> so wow. you could see uh, this is a certain museum that yep. players might know from the game. Um, and I really have to talk about Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey and not only directing them, but seeing them do all the other episodes, they've thrown themselves at these roles um, for a whole year. V watching the nuance that they bring to these characters, their relationship on and off camera, I couldn't help but think about Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson. It felt so similar to the chemistry yeah. those two actors had when we made the game. Um, and it really feels like this is gonna be something special. And I, I will say this will be the most authentic video yeah. game adaptation yet. Well, I mean, that first image that they put out, it just, I mean, it feels like the video game. Everything that I've seen, both public and other stuff, makes it feel sort of super legitimate, as you said, and that's awesome to see uh, Joel and Ellie from, from the front side now for the first time. Um, so we'll see more of that at next year that's coming as well, right, Sirius? Uh, you'll hear about it very soon. That's, that's okay. all I'll say right now. All right. Well, Last of Us HBO, very, very exciting. Uh, and I hear you actually have a couple actors from the show who are uh, going to join we us here. We happen to have a couple actors here that are part of the show. Okay. Okay. Up. Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, hello. <laughs> Surprise. Tro Troy's back again. Hello, I know. Ashley. Good oh, to hi. see you. Good to see you. Uh, I'm a little confused, though. I, I thought maybe Pedro Bella, but Troy Ashley out here uh, from the game, right? So uh, when Craig and I started working on the show, almost one of our very first meetings, we said, Troy and Ashley have to be a part of it. Um, and we're such fans of, like, the talent and the help, like, helping us create Joel and Ellie. Um, we felt like it was so important that they become part of the show. And it wasn't, it's, it has to be more than just like, kind of like a wink to the camera and like a cameo. Okay. These are real roles that we're keeping on the wraps for now. Uh -huh. uh, 
But man, I was I'm bummed that I couldn't be there with you guys when you filmed your stuff. That, there's been so much it's, stuff it's I so, feel like so good on the internet. There's so much like talk about what's being filmed, and I think that's you guys have kept a complete secret that you so you were up there and you you filmed your roles by now, obviously. Uh, well, keeping yeah. secrets yeah. with this franchise is kind of old hat. Like we've except had except for today, yeah. 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 except for the day. Except for the day, uh, it was it was one of the hardest things for us to do is to let not let people know that because we're so proud of it and the work that we did. We worked hard. The the crew. I have to say. Um, when I walked out on set, um, to be met with literally every person that I met on that crew uh, is such a fan of this game, and they all knew what it was that they were working on and committed to working on this project because of their fan and their love for the for the game uh, was one of the greatest. It was like I was coming home to friends. Yeah, I, I the attention to detail, the crew was amazing. Bella and Pedro are man. I, they're so perfect, and it it we we've, we've been trying to sort of describe that feeling of sort of seeing them in person. It's it's like, it's like the characters coming to life, but it it it's so much more than that. I feel like I can't fully explain it, but I am so excited to be a part of it, and just I can't wait to see it. I think it is going to be so good. It's it's. So I love the story. I love no, just I, being I'm, a part of. I'm so world. excited about the series and the fact that you guys are going to be in it and undisclosed roles. I'm so fascinated how it's going to sort of bob and weave and and you know, are these characters we know from the game that they're playing new characters? Can you tell us anything? <laughs> yes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you. So sneaky. All right. Well, we're so excited. To Maybe it's already on Twitter by now. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right. Well. Let's talk about what was on Twitter earlier uh, today. Lots of talk about uh, the idea, or really what's happening is it looks like you guys are remaking the original game, and this is like a ground-up remake, is that right? That's right. Uh, we wanted to give people the definitive version of the, the first game that wasn't encumbered by any technology. Uh, wanted to find a way to get even closer to our original vision, uh, and we're able to do it on the PS5 and PC, and instead of talking about it, let's look at it. All right, let's take a look at The Last of Us, Part one. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. And I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. Take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. Truly one of my favorite games of the past decade. Guys, wh what's your reaction to that? <sighs> yeah, we uh, hadn't seen that yet. Yeah, you're watching it in real time. Yeah. Uh, it's Because you did these, I mean, these performances you did a decade ago. Yeah. You didn't go back in. I mean, you used the original performances. Yeah, right? actually, we, we came up with a process where you could take the original uh, animation that we did for the faces and kind of like retarget it on these new rigs that have a lot more fidelity. And then the animators went back uh, and we're studied. We're side by sides here, just how much it has changed. That you went and you redid the models and rebuilt everything. Everything was re uh, rebuilt from the ground up. Uh, same art director, re-art directed the whole thing from the ground up. Um, but the, the great thing about these faces is that um, they're closer to the original performance. Our, all the animators went and studied those videos and got it closer to what you did on set than we could have achieved before. Um, and that's just like one of the things um, we could talk about, like this brand new AI, like all the combat is, like, is, is redone. Um, 
just uh, the fidelity of everything, 60 frames per second, all the stuff you're getting on the PS5. Again, we wanted to give, knowing because of the show, because this, they're all, all new players for PS5 and PC, yeah. we wanted them to have the definitive version of The Last of Us. Amazing. Well, now you guys get to replay. I mean, when was the last time you guys played the game? I, I actually played it again just to refresh my memory before working on the show. Uh -huh. um, I was a, just a glutton for punishment, and I went straight from playing uh, part yeah, one it. straight into <laughs> part two. Um, and so the last time that I played literally would have been two years ago since we're celebrating the anniversary of part two coming out. So, I mean, it looks like I'm definitely going to be up for another yeah, playthrough I can't, with I this. Mean, yeah. I can't wait to go back. It was oh, I can't a, wait. Uh, you guys did such an amazing job on that original game. and It's, it's really when you play it, when you see it in motion, it's really yeah. night and day from what, what it used to be. So I imagine that, you know, the, think of The Last of Us 2 combat, but kind of that back in The Last of Us 1. Well, it's the whole, like, all the yeah. new animation system, the new AI system, everything we've learned on, like, Uncharted 4, Last of yeah. Us 2, we apply to this, wow. again, to give that definitive version. Just to give a quick shout-out, uh, this project is headed up by uh, Matthew Gallant and Shauna Sky. Okay. Uh, and you'll hear a lot more about it and see a lot more about it over the coming weeks leading up to the release September 2nd on PS5. All right. And well, shortly thereafter on PC. We will look forward to it. You, Neil, you've talked a lot about games directed by other people. What, what are you directing? you still making games? Still making games. Okay. Uh, I haven't given up my, my day job. Uh, it's a little early to talk about it. Maybe if someone in place wants to leak it, then we can yeah. talk about it now. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, uh, we'll save but it. But you do have a new project. Do have a new project, okay. uh, but we'll save it for another summer game fest. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see. We'll try and save it. All right. <laughs> Troy, Ashley, Neil, thank you so much for dropping by Summer Game Fest. And I am so excited that The Last of Us is returning, as you said, in September. So thanks, guys. Appreciate awesome. it. Thanks, Jeff. Awesome. All right. Well. Hands up.